Thank you for joining me in this video to learn more about my teaching practice. In 2017, my colleague Jack Wong and I developed the new course Information and Security Management for the School of ICT. We decided to develop it in high flex mode, which allows students to complete any part of the course in online and or face-to-face -face mode. While this brings added flexibility for the students, it brought with it two unique challenges for us, the course developers. On the one hand, we wanted to ensure equity between the online students and the face-to-face -face students. On the other hand, we wanted to promote engagement as much as possible by utilizing the unique characteristics of online mode and face-to-face -face mode. We developed short online video lectures for the online students so that they could watch these video lectures in addition to the recorded face-to-face -face lectures. It has been shown that the recordings of face-to-face -face lectures do not bring much value to the students. And since online students do not have direct access to instructor feedback, we set up a discussion forum. This was a social question answering platform where students could post questions and these questions could be answered by students or instructors. Instructors could endorse good answers that were given by students to other students. And since this was a technical course, we wanted to make the course as practical as possible. How could we bring the practical aspect that students get by attending a computer lab, for example, to the online setting? We looked at different software and made sure that this software is freely available, has good support and runs on many operating systems. One of the key things that we did to promote engagement for the students was to use PebblePad. We asked them to create learning journals for each week of the course. The students said that these learning journals really helped them to retain the content of the lectures much more than in other courses. That was great feedback. We also implemented in PebblePad a peer review of the first assignment. Students would complete the first assignment in groups and each group would then receive at least one peer review from another group. The peer review was anonymous so that there was no identification of other students who could give bad reviews. Overall, the student feedback has been very positive on this high flex mode. Some students use the short video lectures to prepare for the face-to-face -face lecture that they also attended. So we believe high flex mode is a great concept and the learning journals using PebblePad really help the students with their engagement in the course. We would like to thank the Blended Learning Advisors for helping us with the implementation of PebblePad. 